Hey G.I. Joe fans, Joe Motion Videos 82 here. It is time for another G.I. Joe toy review, but before I get into that, I want to thank on this wonderful Patriots Day. I just want to thank our armed services for their sacrifice for serving this this great nation. I want to thank the policemen firemen, EMS, all of those who are out there on, on a daily basis risking their lives for us to preserve, help us, to preserve our freedoms, to just make things run smooth. You guys are great. You're very special in my heart. I thank a vet every time I see one. And it's, it's near and dear to me. My family comes from a very long line of military service and it's been ingrained into me. Uh, it stopped after my dad got out of Vietnam. He was the last one from my immediate family. He would not, um, he disapproved of us trying to enlist in the armed services. I tried, uh, but I have a shoulder that dislocates real easy. So that disqualified me that put me in the 4f club so i can't say i didn't try um so anyway all that being said thank you guys so very much my flag is out there flying i put a post a message on on my twitter account for all those who are following me on twitter don't forget about patriots day fly fly your flags uh, show your support i know 9 11 that tragic tragic day it 17 years ago and the sting is still there but let's not forget about our patriotism honestly i remember for close to a year or up to a year after that i could not find a single american flag out on the market they were all gone it, it <laughs> Every house in the neighborhood seemed to be flying red, white, and blue. It, it was it was amazing. It was heart. It warmed my heart. And now I hardly see it. Yeah, I'm going to turn this into a little bit of a rant. But, um, yeah, I, I hardly see it anymore. So, guys, let's not forget about that. Thank a vet. Thank a fireman. Thank a police officer when you see them. I'm not saying you have to. This is America. We have our freedoms. But just do it because you're a nice person and you want them to feel thanks. A lot of the vets who are out here uh, that you see in your state aren't necessarily from your state. They are their training for, for their, their job in the service. And they're from other states. They're missing their families. And at sometimes you are... They don't have family. So the military is their family. And just reach out and thank them. I know they really appreciate it. They really do. Uh, I saw two young soldiers out at the mall the other day. And boy, were they young. Uh, but they were soldiers. Nothing fake about their uniforms. And I thanked them both. And they just lit up. Well, well thank you, sir. And I was like, no, no, guys. Really, thank you. And they just couldn't stop thanking me for thanking them. So they really appreciate it. So, rant gone. We are looking at an incredibly awesome vehicle today. This, oh, I think it is my most favorite vehicle in the Tiger Force line. Uh, one of my viewers, I am sorry, I cannot remember your name. I, I, I do deeply apologize for that. I had it written down, but... I think I ended up throwing the paper away accidentally. He asked me what my favorite Tiger Force action figure was, and I told him it was Rakondo, and that is the truth, because he comes with an awesome vehicle. I mean, it rivals the Tiger Rat. It really does. It, it, the Tiger Rat in itself is a fabulous, fantastic, phenomenal, 
all the F's you want to call it, except for one, vehicle. Uh, it, it's copied after A-10 Thunderbolt, which is my favorite airplane. But we today will be looking at the 1988 Tiger Force Tigerfly and his pilot, Rakondo. So, Rakondo version 2 is known as Tiger Force Rakondo. He was released as a part of the 7th series in 1988. He came packaged exclusively with the Tiger Fly uh, covert assault helicopter, which is modeled after, after the um, Cobra helicopter. Sold in 1989 and was discontinued in 1990. So this guy in vehicle only had a run for one year. Can you believe that? One year. This thing just sweats awesomeness and it's for one year. Uh, Rakondo was intentionally or was originally intended to be released individually as a carded figure. However, the Tigerfly pilot Wild Bill was no longer um, was never produced, which is a shame because we could have had Wild Bill flying this bad boy. In his stead, Hasbro included Rakondo in with the Tigerfly. And what I really think is cool, he came with his accessories. So we'll, we'll get into that. Uh, I unfortunately don't have the, the original retail price for uh, Rakondo and the Tigerfly, because I could not find it anywhere on yojo.com or any other website that I do uh, visit to, to research. So, just making an educated guess, I'm thinking it was around $16 or $17. And yeah, it, it was a great vehicle. I never had it as a kid. I didn't have very many vehicles as a kid. Um, so, this one I bought on the aftermarket, fortunately, before the prices went up. So, all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, G.I. Joe fans, let's get into the review. I really had to zoom out to get this in there. Gosh, it was a little bit longer than I had thought, so I had to readjust my camera. Well, I know how big it is, I'm just saying... It's a little bit longer for than I thought it would be for the frame of the camera. All right, as we could see, Rakondo, right here. Oh, sorry, dude. His crotch broke off. Darn it. It's okay. It came broken. I had to glue it back on. Right, Rakondo is the exact same as the first release. He's just in a darker color. The I want to show you a variant on the backpack. Tiger Force Rakondo came with a darker backpack. It matches his pants. As we know that the original Rakondo from 83, his backpack closely resembles his hat. So if we find, if you guys see a Rakondo on the aftermarket with this backpack, it is wrong. His backpack is supposed to be a dark green. I found that out when I bought this this Rakondo. Oh, he did come with the vehicle, but he the owner that sold it to me sold me with the original backpack, so I had to purchase the other one on the aftermarket. Unfortunately, it wasn't too expensive; it was around two ninety nine. So, let's just go ahead and take a look at Rikondo real quick. He's pretty cool. These colors work with him, work for him. Uh, he has the dark green tiger stripe pants over brown boots. He has this nice uh, kind of a charcoal gray shirt he has a sculpted on pistol 
in a brown holster. He has a brown belt that wraps all the way around. Some nice sculpting on that. Some pretty, pretty decent pouches. I always liked when they came with pouches on their belts. He has a knife sculpted on his right left leg, but I think that's intended to be a machete. I don't know if you could see that or not. Yeah, there it is, right there. Looks like he has wings sculpted on his chest. Pretty cool. And of course he has his bush hat with one side flipped up. And the cool stash. Looks like he'd be walking around twisting it, getting it up to a point. And I pointed this out before, but he came with a, a backpack with a nice handle on it, which I thought was cool. So he would carry the backpack as well. Has uh, some sculpted on pouches. Very nice detail on this. And a sculpted on canteen. And uh, he came with this rifle. It looks sort of like the, the M1 machine gun. The collapsible stock. Uh, it's wrapped up with a little bit of cloth for additional camouflage. Pretty nice. So let's go ahead and uh, set him off to the side there. And let's take a look at the awesomeness of this helicopter. This helicopter has a lot going for it. As you can see, it has the Canadian sticker on it. Uh, the other one has the U.S. flag on it. Uh, this one I purchased from a gentleman in Canada. So, from our, our brothers from the Great White North. Thank you very much. This is a exact copy of the tiger fly has all the same accessories but they're in red you see it has a working winch here on the bottom which i always thought was a a cool play feature has a little dial on it you just rotate it and it pulls the cable up Uh, the winch got a lot of play time with us, which was pretty cool. Sorry, I'm trying not to get it out of frame. Uh, on the front here, it has what I believe, if I can remember right, from the blueprints. I, I couldn't copy them, I had to look them up. But it's a um, 30 caliber... Um, mini gun or gatling gun with on uh, this side this pointy looking thing it uh it's a night vision sensor if i could remember right uh on the the tiger fly the original or yeah on the tiger fly or dragonfly i'm sorry the original um the first run of it the barrels would the barrel would tip up and down so that one is a little more sought after but I'll get into that when I review it and on the side here he has a another cannon and that has a hose which attaches it to the side that is a part that is easily lost so that is something to look for on the aftermarket the cannon does detach. Pretty cool. Oh, finally the air turned on. Warm day today. Uh, it did come with a bomb or two bombs and four of these what appears to be a Sidewinder missile. Pretty cool. The cockpit did fit two G.I. Joes. It is a very empty cockpit. No um, instrument panels sculpted in there. On the front has the uh, Tiger Teeth, Tiger Force emblem on one of the wings, both of the wings I should say, and tail fins. This back part is a is a tail rotor it does work and uh, oh, oh, oh. 
Sorry about that, guys. I will leave that in. Yeah, why not? Leave that in as a nice outtake. On the back, it has four exhaust vents. And, of course, a panel that removes from the side to reveal some nice engine work. It is the same on both sides. That engine is dirty. I've never taken the engine panel off before. And it just snaps right back on there real easy. And the missiles and bombs, they attach with this uh, barbell shaped peg. They just snap right on here to the bottom of the wing. They rest pretty easy, so uh, they, these don't fall off, but they, they do get lost. They have the tendency to get lost if you stored it or kids took them off and lost them. But they're easy to find on the aftermarket, surprisingly. And the gun snaps into the hoses right here, snap into these two holes. And the gun pegs right into that little slot there. Be careful with the peg. Um, it, this plastic is pretty sturdy, but it will it could break off. It just plugs right into the side of the chopper or of the the helicopter. The other side is exactly the same. And sorry, I'm having to take it out of frame to turn it, so I knocked my camera over. And the coolest feature of all was the switch on the side. You could turn it. Here, let me move the camera. There we go. You could turn it and knock over your background display. <laughs> oh, here we go. Turn it. Push it forward to get the rotors to turn. And this one actually works pretty well. I'm getting a nice rotation from it. This one is just loaded with outtakes today. That's fine. Uh, there is a slight problem with that switch. Uh, sometimes it doesn't, over time and play, it doesn't quite um, match the rotation. And after a while, you're just pushing the switch and it um, just it moves freely. You don't feel any tension behind it. But the biggest problem when you're working the switch, and I'm glad Hasbro made this out of a soft plastic, but your hand is resting on the tail fin. And as you can see, that when I'm operating the switch, I'm putting pressure on that tail fin. So you'll find them on the aftermarket sometimes with that one particular fin bent down just a little bit. You might even see it on your own uh, Tiger Fly or um, Dragonfly. You might see it like that. I know my, my Dragonfly has a bent wing. So, um, there you have it. Uh, I apologize for <laughs> all the mistakes, but why not? I'm human. And it is a pretty cool little toy. Oh, one more thing before I close up this review. It has these really neat stickers on the wings for one, but um, uh, it's kind of hard to pull those off, but it has these red rubber caps and the dragonfly has them as well. Uh, that is to, to cover up the edge of the wing because it is a little bit sharp and could cause some damage if it gets into a kid's face and I should know that because when I was playing with my tiger or my, not my tiger fly but my dragonfly as a kid I don't know why I did it I think because I was just a kid I would get the blade spinning and put my face into it <laughs> so I think they had that intended for idiots like me Yeah, and I could see that on the Board and Safeties Commission that when they're looking at this toy, it's like, oh, there's some idiot kid out in Arizona who like to stick this in his face and hit himself with it.
but it does get going at a a good rate and um, it could hurt somebody especially well it'll still hurt if it, you catch it in the eye but uh, without those rubber uh, tips on the, on the um, wings it would hurt even more all right so uh, let's go ahead and wrap this up this is a great 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 vehicle it is out there on the aftermarket uh, I shouldn't say the whole vehicle is um, pardon me that the whole vehicle right now is available uh, I always search eBay right before I do these reviews so I can get you the most accurate prices uh, the only complete one I found was going for, or this one was 95% complete because it didn't come with Recondo. Uh, it was selling for $100, which seems to be about average for a complete Tiger Fly. It, um, like I said, it, it was only out there for a year, so there aren't very many of them out. Well, there, I shouldn't say very many, but there are, there are a lot fewer than the there were when G.I. Joe was releasing action figures and vehicles for multiple years in a row anywhere from two to up to four years and then they would put them over into Hasbro Direct so you could purchase them again but uh, I'll say this about the sub teams it gives you a chance to buy an action figure that you didn't catch in the first run yes it's not the original but you still get that action figure. I never had Recondo or uh, a lot of the Tiger Force original run as a kid so Tiger Force gave me a chance to get those action figures and I really enjoyed them uh, especially Recondo version 1. John and I got a lot of playtime out of him you know, for a few reasons. One, he's absolutely freaking cool Two, he had a lot of shrubbery in his yard, so that gave us some jungle scenarios to play with. And three, he was tan, so we could run him on um, uh, desert missions along with Dusty. So that uh, just really gave us a lot of a lot of fun memories with with Ricondo. So, uh, pardon me, <laughs> oh, catch my breath here. Okay, so the parts right, start from around $299 and go up. I didn't see much more, like missiles and things, much more than a complete set for $499. So it's $299 to $499. The canopy, $1799. Uh, the, the, there is a Tiger Fly out there right now that is missing the skids. Oh, that's one thing I forgot to point out. Gosh, I am such an idiot. See down there on the skids? You can fit on the pegs there. You can fit two Joes down there. So this carries four GI Joes. Yeah, I'm just doing this completely impromptu today. I just want it to be fun. Come on. And, you know, you got two Joes in the cockpit, two down on the skids. But in reality, the pilot sits in the back seat when flying these and the gunner sits up front because the gunner has the targeting computer and all that up front so they could um, fire their missiles and um, guns with accuracy so uh, when we were kids of course naturally we want to put the driver up front so we had always had Wild Bill up front and whoever else in the back but um, just want a little forewarning that the pegs on the skids are a little bit thick. So please be careful uh, putting your Joes on there. Uh, you, you could crack their heels, uh, especially with the lighter colored figures. Their heels break pretty easily. Uh, I have, it just broke my heart, I have a um, Stinger driver. Fortunately, he's pretty beat up in yellow. 
um, I tried putting him on a figure stand and broke both of his heels off. Still made me pretty nauseous given that it was an antique. So back to everything else here. It's a complete or incomplete tiger fly was selling without the skids and the uh, yeah it had the side gun on it for uh, $39.95 and this vehicle I think it'd be a little more expensive to purchase just the airframe and add to it um, depending on what you would say is expensive but if, in, in my opinion if it ex exceeds $100 since you could buy a complete one for 100 it's not really worth it. But to you it may be. Uh, for me, I had to wait. And I actually got this at a pretty good price. Uh, it was less than $100. I got it in an auction. So that's the way to go. Uh, you could stand a good chance with an auction or, well right now G.I. Joe's is blazing hot, especially the sub teams, so you might end up paying more than you want to in an auction. That's what self-discipline kicks in. I should know. Okay, so the missiles and bombs complete, uh, all formed together. The highest price I saw on those, I retract what I said earlier, highest price I saw in complete set of missiles and bombs is $14.99. The rotor blades were $9.99, surprisingly. Uh, the blueprints were $8.99. Two people were selling blueprints um, for $8.99 each. Rakondo with file card complete. Now this, as you guys know, really gets stuck in my craw. Vehicle drivers and pilots. Why? Why do they sell them so blasted expensive? They, there was a lesser run and they weren't carded, so that naturally drives the price up. You buy the vehicle, you naturally want to buy the action figure. So, entrepreneurial, I've always had a hard time saying it, drove my economics teacher nuts. Um, they drive the price up because supply and demand, they know it will sell. And um, especially with the sub teams, because I think they each of them only had a run for one year. And uh, all right, sorry about that. Um, what was I saying? With the Tiger Fly, it was never released that I know of to Hasbro Direct. So if you guys know any different, um, please let me know. And um, so it, that just makes it a little bit harder. It drives the demand up on those a little bit higher. So all that being said, thank you guys so very much for tuning into my channel. Uh, especially thank you to my new new subscribers who are out there. Really appreciate you guys uh, signing up with my channel. It means a lot to me. Uh, especially those of you guys that have stuck around with me all these uh, for this past year. Uh, that is great. Thank you so very much for that. I really appreciate your support because I am. I appreciate your support so much that when I reach 100 subscribers I will be holding a giveaway. I will be giving away a choice between two toys. It might be a vehicle, might be an action figure, might be a vehicle and an action figure. That comes with the vehicle, of course. Um, so, uh, share this video. Uh, subscribe to my my channel I would really appreciate it uh, so let's get up to 100 subscribers and I will hold that giveaway uh, you, you will have five days to respond once I do have that giveaway and I will enter you into a drawing draw your name out of a box and we'll see who gets to win sorry
<laughs> to adjust my tripod, cut off the top of my head. <sighs> Keep it funny. <laughs> So, thank you guys. I can't thank you enough. This has been Joe Motion Videos 82 signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye bye.